All right, we are going to make a liner for the small pouch. The liner for the large pouch is exactly the same, but a different baggie. It's a quart baggie instead of, this is the sandwich baggie. So the first thing you're going to do is cut along the edge here to about a third of the way down on both sides. And then you're going to, it doesn't matter really which side, but I like to do it on the side that has this that's smaller. You're going to cut this down to about a third of the way. And you're going to leave about the same amount of width here as your, your flap here, because you're going to be pinning it. You want it just a little bit smaller than uh, your flap at the, near the U-joint. you're going to be pinning it and you're going to cut this into a U on both sides. And then I don't know what kind of baggie you're going to have but I usually leave a little bit of this very sturdy uh, seal attached so you have something for your safety pins to catch on so it doesn't just rip out. Okay, then you're going to turn it over and you're going to fold this down. Make sure that it is even and not, you know, skewed like that. And then you're going to tape this down so that it doesn't go anywhere and you are going to take a thicker piece like this cut it in half the other part set aside because you will use it but you want to tape up at the fold at the top so that you have then you're going to flip it over, put this other piece at the base of the U here. Those two places are going to be the places that your safety pins go through and putting this tape here will help you to not have safety pins rip out. The other thing I would suggest doing is taking two small pieces and taping uh, at the corners where you have folded over um, the top. And that will keep it from coming apart as well because that's a huge stress point for the diapers. So that is your liner. Should have taped like that. Set it aside. Now you need four safety pins. I would recommend getting strong ones because um, the birds do mess with them somewhat. I use two big ones um, for these attachments and two slightly smaller ones for um, pinning this part. These are 1.25 inches and these are 1.5 inches. Here is the diaper. You are going to put this in so that the side with the flaps matches the side with the flaps. And then make this visible here. Um, you're going to make sure that these corners fit snugly into the corners of your diaper. And the first pin I usually do is to pin it between the two um, uh, straps. Make sure it sits flush. Don't stab yourself. Then I usually um, 
do the these straps and you just pin them however high they they go up. If you find that your liner doesn't reach the bottom of your pouch, you can cut this a little bit shorter. Instead of going down a third, go down a little bit less than that. Um, but honestly, if your your pouch is getting too small, switch up to the quarter. Size high baby. These aren't for you. And you're going to flip this over and you're going to pin this flush with your U-joint on the outside. The pin heads should always be on the outside or they will get disgusting. So there's your liner pinned into your diaper. 